Sticking that out because I'm supposed to hold it? Or? No, no, I'm going to hold it. Yeah. I can only do one thing at a time, <laughs> talk. Coach, how's it been a few days in? It's been good. We've had three really good workouts. Uh, guys have been working hard, busting their tails. Happy with the effort and the attitude. And uh, I think they've picked up where they left off in terms of a learning curve. And doing a good job picking up on the defense. You uh, and Chris Ash both kind of said last spring at this time the linebackers were kind of a mess. Any different this year? I mean, I know there's a lot of injuries. There are uh, some injuries, but the guys that are in there are doing a good job. And certainly they're way, they're light years ahead of where they were a year ago at this time as they should be. Uh, that's a, that's a, an expectation that uh, you know that they've met. The uh, question is, is between now and practice 15, how far we can push forward from there. Who gets an opportunity if, if uh, Maddox Williams is out, Trevor Morris is limited, who gets an opportunity this spring? Well, everybody's getting reps. Uh, there's not a guy that's playable uh, from a medical perspective that won't get reps. So uh, Ross Douglas moved from the secondary uh, up to the Sam slash nickel position. Uh, so he's been with us at uh, that spot for a couple days now. He's off to a good start. Brandon Russell was uh, there at the end of the year when we had that rash of injuries at the Sam spot. And so he's already been practicing there. And then, again, at, at the other positions, all the guys who are in the depth are, are getting reps. How's Rashawn Battle doing with this being his first row spring? Good. He's off to a good start. He's made some good plays early. Uh, had an interception the first day. Making some good uh, physical plays at the line of scrimmage. Uh, learning because he's you know, a year or two behind all these other guys in terms of experience in the program, but uh, you know he's, he's off to a good start. We lost a couple of veterans off the D line. How, how does that uh, look right now? Well, uh, today is really the first day I think you could get a fair evaluation on that just because we weren't pads. So practices one and two, it's more about assignments, are they in the right gaps, they understand responsibilities that type of thing. Um, so I, I better be able to answer that question after we get through uh, watching this film. But, um, you know, there's certainly some athleticism there. There's some explosiveness there. Um, you know, and I think that uh, if those guys go continue to progress and improve like I would expect, that would be a really solid group. Just one quick follow-up. Uh, Chris was really uh, talking up. Uh, he was very impressed with uh, the offseason that Kamoko had. Where do you see him right now? Kamoko's very athletic. He's a special talent. There's no question about that. Uh, unfortunately, last year it was probably at least the middle of the season before he was healthy enough even to do all the things that uh, you know a normal D lineman would be able to do. So the, the off season was a real critical period for him, and he did a nice job. He worked hard in the weight room, did all the right kinds of things with Coach Parker that he needed to do. That's translated over onto the field so far. Um, again, if, if he progresses and improves uh, like he should given the, the amount of reps that he's going to take, I expect a really good year from him. Coach, getting back to the linebackers, um, you have a bunch of freshmen coming in. Is it conceivable they could start? How difficult uh, is it to grasp this system and, and come in right away? Well, I think it's hard for any freshman to do that. I mean, um, it's just it's tough. The transition from high school to college is, is a tough one to make. But uh, they're going to come in here with an opportunity to show what they can do. And if they're good enough to compete, um, you know, then we'll give them the opportunity to, to win a spot if they're capable of doing it. If not, then you know, they won't. But uh, that's just some competition we have to settle. Okay. How, what makes Ross Douglas the right guy to do that? Obviously there's a need, but why him? What about his skill set or his ability makes him the right guy to move down? Well, there's a couple things that factored into that. One, he did it last year when we had all the injuries towards the tail end of the season. We, we had slid him into a, the Sam spot. And so he had some reps there and he had some reps uh, as a nickel which is, has some similarities and some carryover to the Sam position, too. So that had something to do with it. And uh, he's, he's really a very football-savvy kid, understands the game, uh, and is quick to pick up on things. And uh, he gives us a little bit different um, skill set out there in terms of pass coverage that you don't see in a typical linebacker. So all those things combined um, you know, made sense for us to do that. Did he add any weight to uh, transition to that role? Uh, not really because, I mean, just what he typically did in the offseason as a DB was, you know, was what it was because, uh, you know, we didn't even make this decision until right before the first practice. How do, you, how do you feel about the depth you have in the secondary, being able to move guys like Ronnie or Ross up a level to linebacker? Well, we're thin back there. There aren't, there aren't a lot of guys, um, you know, the, the just sheer numbers are, are not uh, large back there. So we got to be calculated. It's not like we, we can afford to move a handful of people. 
uh, nor do we need to and want to really from that perspective. Um, so uh, I think we're settled in where we're at. We're in pretty good shape if things stay as they are. So uh, what kind of role has Bill Bush been for you? Like, how much has he helped you so far as co defense coordinator with you? Oh, he's a great coach. He's got a, a great track record. He's a lot of fun to work with. I enjoy working with him every day. Uh, so uh, our, our business as usual uh, is, is where we are in the office and out on the field. Um, but uh, like every coach, he's, he's contributed uh, you know, in different kinds of ways. And coverage end of it, of course, since he's a DB coach and a lot of great special team stuff that he does for us. But uh, I really enjoy Bill, and, and uh, he's going to have a lot of input into what we do. Chris was saying something about how an effort to be a little more multiple in the front seven this year, maybe some 3-4 or 4-3, just to get the best guys on the field. Where did that come from, and how different is that than what you guys were doing last year? Uh, you know, we got into some of the stuff that we're doing last year a little bit more on third down. Now it's uh, become a little bit more first and second down oriented in terms of the front structure. Uh, but we're, we're still a 4-3 team as far as our base. That's what we do. Uh, and uh, that's what we hang our hat on. Other things that we do will be variations or deviations off of that. With uh, this spring with Deontay, uh, with some of the moving parts around him, how big is it a as a spring for him to be a leader, and what kind of growth have you seen in him? He, you know, he's not within their shot. <laughs> oh, he's, he's done a great job. Uh, probably uh, you could ask a number of coaches, any of the strength coaches, Coach Ash, myself, uh, anybody who's had any kind of pulse on it. Uh, he probably had one of the best off seasons of any player on our football team, and uh, that's translating over into production on the field in spring practice. And, he just busted his tail and had a great attitude. Uh, I think he realized that uh, with his own play as well as the quality of, the, of where we were defensively at the end of the season, it wasn't where we wanted it or needed it to be. And uh, it's gone extreme measures uh, on his part to push in the right direction and uh, really get things going. And uh, I really can't say enough good things about all the hard work he's put in himself. Coach, is there anybody who really caught your eye the first three days, uh, first three days of practice? Well, the guy jumps out at you is Kamoko. Just because he's so athletic and long, he runs right by people on the field when he's chasing the ball down. It doesn't matter what position they play. Uh, but they're, you know, it's it's really early. We just got to watch guys and evaluate. Uh, I know there's a lot of things that are happening in the D line, particularly with the uh, interior guys. Um, just really hard until you get pads on to say whether or not they're jumping out at you the way they want to. And I think after we watch practice today, we'll get a, a little bit better feel for that. So um, really, all the guys are doing a nice job though, working hard, hustling. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Okay.